That's Morse code for welcome back. You already know what time it is. To trap turnover. Trap turnover. And if you're feeling a little spooky, (laughs) tis the season because this is... I guess uh, it's our spooky episode. It's a spooky episode. <laughs> honestly, you know, we, we don't have a whole lot. You don't have a whole lot of spookiness prepared, no. to be honest. It's more just going to be standard, but, you know, yeah. it's coming out. Yeah. It should be out, like, what, a few, few days before Halloween. Mm-hmm. So it'll be good timing. So, yes, and I know. apologize for the last video not being up because, for whatever reason, it was not importing from my phone to the computer, which is where I edit the video. So there it's was tough. no video to edit because it was not importing. So that's uh, that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Hey, um, it's all good. But yeah, we're glad you're here. Glad you're back. <sighs> yeah, we've got a. Uh, we've actually, I mean, as you know, NBA is back. Mm-hmm. So it not only does that give us something to talk to, but it's just a little bit more exciting. A little bit more. Yeah, it's just something to look forward to, and. Uh, because we haven't talked basketball. Yeah. Did we talk basketball last episode? I don't even I don't know remember. if we did. If we did, it was vague. <laughs> yeah. So if we hadn't then, then like I feel like the last time we did was like when the playoffs started. So yeah. we've, most of our last episodes have all been music like related. So mm-hmm. so it's honestly good because like, I feel like I love talking music, but it gets almost, even though all music's different, it gets kind of repetitive sometimes. Yeah. So like. Some good basketball talk, dude. Like, come on. Yeah. Come on now. And we had some we had some preseason discussion a little bit, I, I believe, oh, in our last episode. That, okay, so we talked like, preseason. Yeah, okay. we talked a little bit of preseason. But NBA season has been going on for about a week now. About a week. And Most teams are two or three. I think every team's two or three games in. Yeah, two or three games in. And it's just, yeah. it's looking like some darn good NBA basketball. <laughs> Not even going to lie. Like, yeah, it could just be because it's been so long. I mean, it really hasn't even been that long since we had basketball. But, like, yeah. even beyond, like, just the NBA being fresh again, like, I just feel like it's, there's, like, a like we've reached a new, like, tier quality of basketball, oh, like, man. just coming out of the gates. Yeah. Like, no, I agree. Like, before we started recording, we were talking a bit, and we were, we were talking about, like, this looks like it's going to be, like, one of the most competitive seasons. Like, mm-hmm. the, I, I've at least seen, like, since I've started watching basketball, um, and maybe even like for a couple of decades, who knows? Like, Seriously. I know it's we haven't really seen a lot yet because, like, two or three games could only tell you so much. Like, for all we know, the teams that are undefeated right now could lose like 20 in a row after, and maybe yeah. Just like, so we don't really know. It'll take a bit of time for us to actually see like what some of these teams are about, mm-hmm. but it genuinely looks like there's. You know, out of like the sixteen available playoff spots, I feel like there's over twenty teams that are capable of doing yes. those. Like, yeah, most teams, and that's <laughs> rare. Like, yeah, especially even to say that like in the beginning of a season, like yeah, like it's just, and I think the thing of it is too is we're like really creeping into like a new generation of basketball. Like these young guys are like actually starting to take over now. Oh, for like, sure. Like they're playing at these level that like these old guys are playing at like and i don't even like not even like old guys just guys that have been in the league for like 10 years Mm -hmm. plus and so oh yeah like it's the it just looks different and it looks clean like it's not it's not like sloppy like it could be because Mm -hmm. that's the game now is like a lot can go wrong it's not as fundamental so a lot can go wrong and it's just looking really nice and Mm mm-hmm well, we look forward to the season. Yeah, like I like how you said the uh, you got all these young guys playing like the veterans in the league because mm-hmm. like it seems like the rate that these guys are progressing at is more insane than like any era I've I've seen. Like you've got so many second, third year players playing like top ten players so far. Yep. Like John Morant, Trey Young, like Luca, Luca of course. Um, but even there's even more ones that aren't even like in that tier that are playing like yes. dropping. Who's Tyler Hero? Like, dude, Tyler Hero's popping like, off right now. Crazy games off the bench. Like, there's a few more. I mean, I'm just tripping right now. I can't really remember, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, all uh, sorts of young players. Like the Kings, Blazers played Kings the first game. We, we kind of got killed, and they have like mm-hmm. a bunch of young guys just going crazy. Dude, like, yeah. Davion Mitchell or whatever, De'Aaron Fox. Like, 
all of these guys going hard. It's just like, a different breed of hoopers these days. Oh yeah, they're because like, everybody comes in knowing how to shoot the ball. Like that's yeah, they're that's all the athletic thing. as hell. Yep, like, they're just they're just freaks. Like yeah, like whether like whether they have fundamentals or not, like they're just freaks in nature and yeah. there's like almost nothing you can do about it it's like yeah it's crazy like i just yeah i have no clue like what the league will look like in five years compared to now who's even going to be the best player at that point like it's it's so up in the air <laughs> like it it really is and that's yeah. that's what i like about the league now mm-hmm. is because we're finally past this point where you have like this established like top 20 players and those those 20 players will be like those players for probably like five or ten years yeah we're slowly starting to move on from that and establish this next like oh, yeah. 15 to 25 like just top dogs like mm-hmm. and it's just it's just super exciting because yeah. like they are the game changers like mm-hmm. they're the ones that like it doesn't matter your position you're gonna be able to shoot threes you're gonna be able to handle the ball you're gonna be able to do all this insane stuff and be a freak athlete oh yeah like, like i feel like yeah, yeah there's it's I feel like in the past, like, the top five, ten players in the NBA was, like, the same thing for multiple years. Like, yeah. I bet from, like, 2000 to, like, 2005, like, it's probably Kobe, like, all those guys, like, mm-hmm. pretty similar. But, like, now it's, like, the you top five can be gonna... debate. Because you got 20 yeah. dudes playing, like, top five players right now. Like, it's just... And, like, you yeah. see in these, like, ESPN lists or, like, anyone's list and it's, like, yeah. the top... 10 players in this league there's like there's like a 38 year old a 23 year old yep a 26 year old like it's all over the place all over the place like like luca is always in that list jason tatum's sometimes Sometimes. in the list like young guys young guys like trey young trey young sometimes might crack just taking over the league like yeah it's crazy and no list is ever the same because there's so so much debate around it like it's rightfully really? so. Like, there's just so many good players. Dude, <laughs> speaking of Dirk. Speaking of Dirk, dude. So, yeah. <laughs> Did we even you know speak of Dirk, or am I tripping? No, we didn't even speak of Dirk. <laughs> 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 you said speaking of Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Well, oh, no. since it's how, uh, Halloween, <laughs> this is our spook uh, spook turnover, is what we're calling it. <laughs> themed yeah. episode we got some nice <laughs> speaking of Dirk we, we thought we'd pull up this nice picture of him dressed up as uh, is that yeah, what what is that Dracula Frankenstein I don't know just like we a should... zombie maybe or just a zombie yeah kind of he, he kind of looks like PewDiePie <laughs> <laughs> he does what else okay so alright I guess this is a great transition yeah, we'll into our next this. And into our next segment, we'll um, get back into NBA debate, but we gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. we gotta go over NBA. We're gonna costumes. cool it down a little bit because we got some heaters. Okay, okay. so this is a, uh, this is Stephen Adams and Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. So it looks like well, Stephen Steve- Adams obviously Joker, and then Westbrook is Stephen Adams. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's. I remember when this came out. This is all the buzz on like NBA Twitter. I feel like it's yeah, that funny. that was that was pretty good. Yeah. Here we have uh, oh boy. <laughs> Austin three sixteen. Dame as the wrestler, what's his name? Stone Cold. Yeah, Stone Cold. Okay. Yeah, that's so pretty. Dame's guy, pretty, pretty, pretty classic. iconic. And then Nurk, I believe <laughs> Nurk on the is, same day because I don't know what it looks like. They're in the same exact oh, yeah. place. I bet it was the same day. That's just bad, dude. I don't know what that is. It looks like maybe just like a, some sort of. What do you think? No, that that's is? the Beauty and the Beast guy. Oh, that's the Beast. Oh, I was okay. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I was gonna guess like. Where's Nurkic from Bosnia? I was gonna think it's like some, some weird... Bosnian folk, like yeah, like, like a Bosnian like werewolf, some like some Halloween the, terror. Yeah, they call like the the like a, it's gonna like like don't... the Sasquatch, of, yeah, like, like the Bos- Bosnian Sasquatch, it's like the boogeyman. Like <laughs> your kids better behave, or the what's like a boss like the the, the Nurkic will come get you, like <laughs> Belsnickel, <laughs> Belsnickel. I forgot about that. That's literally exactly what I was thinking. Bell Bel- Schnickel will come get you. Oh, you guys are watch out to your gin. <laughs> Anywho. Okay. I, yeah, yeah, we just had to throw that in there. Had to throw it in there. Anywho. Yeah. Um, um, NBA. NBA. Um, before we started, you had some piping hot takes. Yeah. Just kind of okay. chilling on the top of your head. You you want to <laughs> so, go back to those? Yeah. So if you've been in the NBA, like, social media space for the past week, you've seen probably seen a lot of 
stuff about the it's the seventy fifth anniversary for the NBA. So they mm-hmm. every like every anniversary I think they drop like uh I don't know if it's every ten years, every twenty five years, I don't know. They drop like a top player list of any era. Um so this year was seven a top seventy five list. It was in no order, it's just seventy five players who released by the NBA too, like who are the quote unquote best seventy five players of all time, right? Mm-hmm. So our boy, right, right here, Dame Dalla, made the list, and yeah, a lot of people were really, uh, really upset about it, which like, it it just kind of depends on how you look at it. I'll get into that in a second, but a lot of people were really pissed on like Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, whatnot, um, that Dame, Dame Twitter was on was the just list, popping off, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was wild, right, and. I get a lot of these people are probably mostly upset because uh, there were other people who deserved to be on the list um, that didn't make it, and they kind of all seem to target Damien as like their scapegoat. Yes. Um, which that's what didn't make sense to me. Like I agree. Like people were pissed about Dwight Howard was one. Um, mm-hmm. Some Warriors fans are mad, like Clay Thompson and Draymond. Um, Clay Thompson himself was mad. Yeah, Clay <laughs> himself was mad. Um, I know French basketball Twitter was pissed that Tony Parker didn't make it. Like, all sorts. Of, I don't think AD made it. Like, and I can get, like, yeah. some of, you can make great arguments for those players. Like, mm-hmm. Dwight Howard dominated, like, 2010s era. Like, he was the best center at one point for mm-hmm. several years. So, like, I get that. And he impacted the, you know, the game as a big man. Like, but it's more just the reason I'm pissed is, one, I'm a, I'm a Dame homer. Like, I, yeah. yeah. So, I will defend him no matter what. Yeah. So I'm bi- I'm biased as hell. I'm throwing that out there right off the bat. Um, that being said, I I'm think, in the same boat. I think yeah. You're, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I think you're stupid if you think he's not on that list though, because there's not 75 basketball players in history who are more talented than this guy. Like there's just just not. Like he's he's 100 percent makes that list. And the only mm-hmm. argument you can have, which is what I'm seeing, is that a there's other players you think you know should be in there, like we, I just mentioned, and. It seems a lot of these people are f- more focused on, like, accolades mm-hmm. slash, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. S- team success, which I get. Like, rings, MVPs, all that do <laughs> play a big part. Because that's just an play. easy way to identify that. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, that's obviously what they're going to go for. Yeah, of course, right? It's just totally understandable. Dame mm-hmm. doesn't have a ring. Like, I get it. Yeah. But it's like they're not factoring individual success at all, like, into it. Mm-hmm. which like i can kind of get but like for example tony parker is one like no disrespect great point to all t- to all time great point guard mm-hmm. you know spurs dynasty like you know he he was killing in the playoffs with tim duncan all those guys for years right mm-hmm. great all-time point guard but i simply do not think he's more skilled and capable of dominating the game like damian can right yes but the reason people want him in over dame is because he's won rings he's you know He's established himself, right? Right. But that's more of a team-based thing, right? So I, when I'm thinking of this list, I'm thinking more individual success and, like, ability of the player. Because that's the whole point of the list. Yeah. Like, to like, take them outside of the team. Yeah, that's what I think. So, there's, of course, there's debate around it, but I just don't get why people are pissed about him being mm-hmm. there when you got guys like Ray Allen, which, <laughs> no yeah. disrespect, let me explain. Well, actually, I don't even really need to. You probably know. Like, he was never a number one option. He was never, like, a that he was never a top 10 player in the league or like a he's just a one of the best shooters of all before curry the best shooter of all time and an excellent like he was a star 100 percent a star right yeah but like i think (laughs) and one of the greatest you know shooters ever but he's not going to go out and drop 30 points per game and lead a team to the playoffs you know and make his whole team better that's like a lebron type it's like the s tier level of players like he was simply a star player who played with other star players and won rings, right? Which is great. Mm-hmm. And I do think he, yeah, I, honestly, Ray Allen, deserving of, like, top 75. But if you're going to be mad that Dame's on it, then you should be mad that someone like him is on it. Exactly. Like, that yeah. might not be the best example, but you know what I'm saying. Like, Ray yeah. Allen's not going to be the number one option on a team ever mm-hmm. and, and carry them to the playoffs. Like, that's something Damien does. It's something LeBron does. It's like, you know, those type of players. Yes. It's, yeah, it's just wild to me. And then... There's so many, like, old players, too, like, from the Mm. 60s, 70s, 80s. That's kind of a hard call. It's a hard call because, look, if you're the NBA, you have to do it, right? You're going to get so much slander from old heads on Twitter being like, where's 
Where's Will? Where's Bill <laughs> Russell? <laughs> yeah. Like, back in my day, you, you didn't even... Never Where's seen, Elgin Baylor? You ever seen a hook shot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Elgin Baylor. Like, yeah. Look, man. All due respect to the, the old era, right? Yeah. It paved, paved the path for today. But the level of talent and athleticism was simply not there compared to today. It was still mm-hmm. there. There are still players there that I think would pl- be able to play in this league, right? But their stats were so inflated, dude. Dude, like, yeah. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> nobody's going to average 25 rebounds a game in this era. Nobody's going to average, you know, over 50 points. Like, it's just that's just not how it works today, right? Yeah. No, I was looking and, at Wilt's. <laughs> yeah. One of Wilt's seasons. Like, ours, it was like his best season, like the one when he scored 100 points. Yeah. And I was just looking at it, and he averaged like a, like a, like 35, 40 points, yeah. something like that, mm-hmm. like 25 rebounds. It's crazy. Like, just 2K numbers. Like, 2K, he was just playing 2K career, out there. dude. On, on pro difficulty. Actually, no, rookie difficulty. On rookie yeah. difficulty, dude. <laughs> like, literally, like, it looked... There's kind of a meme that like Will was playing against like plumbers and like a lot of people say that plumbers and like mailmen and, like yeah, people who like milkmen. <laughs> milkmen like part time like people who got other jobs straight really. up bartenders man. yeah like bartenders and look no like that is it's a funny meme and you know the talent was definitely mm. not as good but like no he was still playing against like I remember hearing like the average height in the sixties was still like six seven or six six like yeah they're still tall but yeah. the skill just wasn't there as much because basketball wasn't as established and like no. you know, people didn't have the like modern medicine even today like with dealing with injuries like yeah support basketball shoes all that stuff compared mm-hmm. with like the amount of trainers amount of ways you can have access to getting better at the game yeah. like it's just different today. and i also think the big thing is too is you did not need to be like versatile like you could have had one thing like you mm-hmm. could have made it in in the 60s 70s you could have made it into the league with just being able, like being six ten and being yeah. able to rebound, Literally. like That's that it. would get yeah. you. But that would hardly get you into college ball these days. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. if you can't rebound, uh, and shoot threes and handle the ball, like yeah. forget about it. Yeah, like forget about it. Forget <laughs> about it. You ought to be smoking dons. You think you can? <laughs> dude, no, uh, hundred percent right, dude. The talent yeah. is just at a higher level. So I get why they put in old players, right? Yeah. Like, you got to show them respect. You have to. You yeah. have to put it on the list. Yeah, but res- okay. respectfully, I think a lot of those players, some of them are so good today, but some of them are just role players today. That's a spicy take, and maybe some people... No, it's not even that spicy of a take. There might be some old heads who yeah. might be pissed, and I'm not going to... Not disrespect in, like, you know, the greats. Like, mm-hmm. but... Uh, is just, Elgin Baylor better than, like, Jason Tatum in today's league? You know what I'm saying? Like... I just don't see it. Like, maybe I have to go back and do my homework more because I'm not, you know, as affiliated, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, with that era or whatever. But Jerry West, dude, like, he's the logo. He's a great, but, dude, is he... He'd get bullied, man. Like, you're telling me, like, <laughs> Alex Caruso wouldn't clamp him? Like, dude, I don't know, man. I just don't... I don't... I get why they're on the list, but I'm just saying, like, be mad that, like, George Gervin's on the list or some random great. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Not yeah. somebody we've seen put up MVP numbers in, like, the yeah. most talented era of basketball. Somebody who's had the best stat line in playoffs history. Yeah, like, you can look it up. Dude. Like, and really. Look, you can criticize his lack of winning in the playoffs. You can criticize the fact that, you know, he's not the best defender. He's not a good defender. Yeah. Right? You can criticize so much about Damian. I'm not saying you can't. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not saying he's better than, like, you know, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? But, like, at the same time, you have to, you can't just act like... He hasn't like impacted the game. And exactly, it's been a reason why. Like, yeah, you can see the dudes like Trey, yeah, like him and mm-hmm. Curry. Like most, Curry's definitely been the most impactful from three point shooting. But Dame's Dame's up there too. You got Dude, dudes yeah, like, Dame's on that list. Mm-hmm. That top got five list. A for lot sure. of rookies coming and pulling from the logo these days. Like, dude, oh yeah, big time. He's a part of that influence too, man. Like, yep, statistically the best logo, shoot, like you know, from long range shooter like ever. Mm-hmm. So. It really is. You can't say that he hasn't done anything for the game or that he hasn't accomplished anything. Like, I get he doesn't have a ring, but, like, dude. Pick something else to argue about. Yeah. Freaking uh, Kuzma's got a ring. Yeah, Kuzma's got a ring. Dame doesn't, so shouldn't he be top 75? Like, it's just. I know rings obviously are important, but there's context to it. Like, exactly. Rings, in terms of talking about, like, Jordan and LeBron, are obviously important to note because they're the reason they got those rings. But Mm -hmm. if you're talking about 
role players. They contributed, but they weren't the sole reason. So like, it seems to me there's a lot of low key role, <laughs> not I mean, not not role players, but like second, third options on yes. the top seventy five list. Yeah, I it's like because so. you like you throw them into some of the teams that we have today, mm-hmm. and you know, like there's just it, there's going to be a difference. There's going to be a night and day difference. I feel yeah. like and. It's just hard. It's just hard, man, to yeah. to take a list like that and just be okay with it. Yeah. And I, that's not I mean, even going back to the Dwight Howard thing, that's I'm not saying I'm not saying at all that Dwight Howard shouldn't be on there. Like I, I, yeah, I, I definitely should, should be, I'm yeah. on the boat where Dame should be on there and mm-hmm. Dwight Howard. Yep. Because they like be there because... I saw I've seen posts comparing both of them and like just the accomplishments alone, like Dwight Howard is like established himself yeah. as one of the better defensive centers that we've had in the last 35 years of basketball. Yep. You know, so... Dame is like, 6'1 in a point guard. Like, yeah. You can't compare that. <laughs> yeah, no, that they're just not the right players to be, like... No. Com- like, complaining about, you know? Be mad that... Like, who, who was it? There's a center, like, Nate Thurman. I don't even know if you heard heard of him. He was no. on that list. He's, I looked yeah. him up. All, I'm sure he had crazy stats because he played in the 60s or 70s, but mm-hmm. you're going to have a dude like... That, be mad that guy's on there and not Dwight because that's exactly. there's centers and big men on the list that Dwight Howard's better than them. Like yes. this could be I don't know if it's hot take or not, but you could you could be pissed that like Dennis Rodman's there over Dwight Howard. You know, mm-hmm. like yeah, no, hundred percent. There's other like I just don't get it. I don't get why Dame's a scapegoat. Like I think there's ten players you can be more pissed about. Right, and but, even like just we we just know because of we we've, we've been watching him play for ten years, but like yeah. there's just a. Uh, impact that dame brings to the game that you you don't see on the stat sheet Mm -hmm. you know like there's like a game changing like yeah like like damian lillard puts fear into all of his opponents eyes because Mm -hmm. not only is he unpredictable but like he'll give anyone 35 yeah anybody if if he has an on nine even if he has a decent night he's gonna give you 26 yeah so it's like it's 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 just a, mm-hmm. a difficult argument. It is. I get. I I understand. There's always going to be controversy with something like this. So yeah. you know, it is what it is, right? But yeah. uh, oh well. I don't know. Damien's just like I feel like you could plug a lot of players on that. You know, like plug in like I don't know Jerry West or something. In, yeah. In Damien's spot, and does he carry a bum ass team to the playoffs every year? I just that's a big <laughs> that's a yeah. big what if, and there's obviously no answer yeah. to it. But I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah. You know? Not, that's I feel you. but you know it is what it is right people it are gonna is, be mad it is what it is um damien clearly does not care at all he's living his best life doing this thing. he probably doesn't even know people are that mad about it but yeah. it is oh, what well. it is you guys will see this season yeah um but you know maybe the blazers will be better yeah and it's looking like it it looks played, like we're doing all right played last night we had a bad opener against the kings but we played the suns last night who had chris paul and devin booker playing mm-hmm. by the way just yep. throwing that out there yep. and we clapped him by like 30 mm-hmm. um and with our new coach chauncey mm. billups dude chauncey, like chauncey chauncey, chauncey, chauncey. <laughs> the 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 defense looks sharper you got dudes rotating better help yep. defense all of that looked way better we were getting a lot of steals like very a lot refined of good basketball yep yeah nurkic was looking great too defensively against deandre ayton like that was probably the part that stuck out to me the most but then on top of that you got the offense looked way more polished, like way more ball movement. Yeah. Less turnovers, like just just yeah, they cleaned mm-hmm. it they cleaned up their act a bit. Yeah. And Damien didn't the best part is Damien didn't have to play the fourth quarter, which mm-hmm. I saw the last time he played he played twenty four minutes last night. Wow. The last time he played that many minutes was in twenty fifteen. <laughs> so that had to have been a breath of fresh air for him. Jeez, yeah, had, take like, a breather, yep. Dame. He didn't have to carry for once. Like, there are other guys doing doing the work for him. Like, and he's just Dude, being yeah. a distributor. He had eight or nine assists. I no, think, these like. these trailblazers are stepping up. Like, mm-hmm. they're they're playing the best version of basketball that they got. They're oh, not fact. just half-assing it because they're in, you know, bum Portland. <laughs> but, I mean, they're like, I think part of it, too, is like, they just Lillard himself. Mm-hmm. Like, just how big he is and how important he is to the league now. Same yeah. with CJ. Like, they're these players come into portland now thinking like oh my gosh like yeah. you know if i if if i'm giving it my all because yeah. these guys like you know we we've got not not just the new guys but like you know blazers that aren't dame cj and nurkic you know that have been with the team for a right. few years like they're playing the best basketball they can just because of how successful lillard's being right now nice. like yeah. 
Like, he's given them a legitimate shot. And, he, you know, they read the tweets about mm -hmm. Lillard, like, quote-unquote, asking for trades, which I, I don't believe in no. any of them. But they nope. see it. That's yeah, in the back of their head. And they're, yeah. w w what's, a, what's a player to do? You know? <laughs> what's a player to do? So that's, Max, I think that's yeah one of the m contributing reasons to why, like, we're going to have, I think this season's just going to look different for the Blazers. Like, yeah. we're going to see some good basketball. Mm -hmm. So new coach, new system, like, and the role players stepping up and actually making yep. it easier for our, our big guys and they don't mm -hmm. do all the work. Like, and CJ McCollum, like, I've been on the fence about, like, trading him and whatnot, but if he keeps up this level of play... Yes then this could be deadly. Yeah. It's just like a matter of it can be consistently this mm -hmm. deadly because he looks nice right now. Like he's looking hitting nice. threes way better than he's ever hit him. Like, he's looking like he wants to be on the Blazers because I think he was paying attention to the oh, media yeah. a tad. Had to. Uh, and, you know, if, even if he saw our podcast, we <laughs> we mentioned, like, you know, get the boy. Get him out of here. <laughs> we'll take him for Ben Simmons, yeah, which right? now I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about no that way. anymore. <laughs> no way. No way. Yeah. <laughs> keep him <laughs> but, but yeah yeah maybe that kind of fired him up a bit i would yeah. imagine it would yeah and he's got to prove prove his fans wrong. it was a spicy off season for the blazers mm -hmm. i will say like just reading like just off of drama. twitter yep. like <laughs> dame going to the sixers dame going to the celtics dame going to the lakers like, yeah <laughs> and then dame comes out and says he never said any of that like it's just people yeah. putting words in his mouth also that's rough oh that's all right I, I think that was good. Um, okay. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Uh, new Mac Miller album. Yes, uh, that's what I want to Heavenly. Talk. Heavenly, okay. Just great. This album, like, draw, it, it first was recorded in, like, 2014 or whatever, but it was finally released this year, like, yeah. on streaming platforms. Yep. I never knew about it. Um, You guys got to give it a listen. It is I have, album of the year for me, even though it's an old album that just got released now. Mm -hmm. Dude, it. It washes anything drop this year. Dude, yeah. It was Absolute amazing. Like, just, just, like, it's just godly, you know? Godly. Yep. That sound card, a little bit, uh, it's a beautiful. and blurry. On, the, oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's all good. You get the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It's whatever mood you're in. If you're happy, if you're sad, It'll don't hit. listen to it, like, at the gym, but, like, you know. Yeah. Just throw it on. Give it a listen. Throw it on. It's, it's, it, if, if you were a, a Mac fan, a Mac fan, <laughs> if you're Mac a Mac on. fan, if you've been a Mac fan for a minute, yeah. like, you're gonna, you're gonna really like this one. It's a little sad. It's a little touching. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's oh, top man. tier. It's a big recommendation from the both of us. Yes. That's for darn sure. What is your favorite song on it? Ooh, uh, Polo Jeans with the Earl Sweatshirt. Yeah, that's a great one. Mine's probably Happy Birthday. So, there's two yeah. ones to give a listen if you yes. have not heard it yet. Whether you have ever listened to Mac Miller or never heard one song by him, I recommend it. Yeah. Very unique, great music. Yes, sir. And unfortunately, I was dumb and did not charge my laptop enough, and we're dying soon. So I'm sorry that okay. this is a shorter episode for Halloween. But Jackson was telling me, yeah. like, most of the feedback we've gotten on the podcast is that you guys prefer, like, shorter ones, simple yeah. listens. So yep. that's kind of what we went for today. So this is mostly just, like, a blazer-oriented one, um, which is fine because not enough NBAs really happen for us to give crazy takes yet. Exactly, yes. So next episode, we'll be talking way more about more teams we like. Mm -hmm. I, I imagine we'll be talking Chicago Bulls. Maybe Miami Heat, mm. Bucks, mm. Warriors, you know. There's so much to go So on. much to go off of, but that, we mostly focus Blazers today because obviously that's that's who we rep, right? Yes, sir. Um, But, yeah, thank you guys for listening. This <laughs> yes, will sir. hopefully be out a couple days before Halloween so you can yep. soak in the vibes yep. before it's, you know, not anymore. Yes. Um, Enjoy some good NBA uh, costumes. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, thanks yep. for joining us. You have yourselves a great day. Take and happy Halloween. Time.